Ricky's Red Nose Day. Happy Hour Live! Ricky, Melvin and Charlie, and over the next hour, we'll be getting to know two teams of YouTubers and putting them through some ridiculous challenges. Yep, tonight, some of your favourite creators will be here at YouTube Space, helping us raise loads of money for comic relief. Uh, before we meet our guests, let's talk a little bit about why we're here. Yep, it's the one night of the year where if your dad tells you you're wasting too much time watching YouTube, you can tell him you're actually making the world a better yes. place. Yeah. Yes! Now, today is all about raising money for comic relief, the charity that has funded over 26,000 grants to the sum of more than one point two billion pounds since it started in 1985, helping those in need in the UK and some of the poorest communities in the world. But without further ado, it's time to meet the YouTubers who will be joining us for Happy Hour. On Team Red, we have Zach Jaleb, we have Michael McCubbin from Football yes. Daily. Yes. And we have the best looking man on the internet, Doug Armstrong. Yes. <laughs> Hello guys, how you doing? Good. Good. Yeah. Looking forward to today? So excited. Are you up for the challenges? You know they're going to be challenges, right? Good. Very yeah, much so, yeah. On. Feeling confident? 100%. All right, good they stuff. Good oh, stuff. Good <laughs> stuff. <laughs> OK, and on Team Nose, we have Evie Clark from Love Evie. We have George Mason and we have Lewis Ball, a.k.a. Yay! Looking for Lewis. Yay! What's going on, guys? How you doing? You all right? Good, good. thank you. Yeah, great. All right, are you uh, going to be uh, helping us raise some money today? Looking forward yeah. to that? Yeah. All great. right, good stuff, good stuff. Good to have you here. All right, we'll be speaking to each of our YouTubers in more detail throughout the show, and in between the challenges, we'll be frying at them. And to make things more interesting, there is a forfeit <laughs> oh. for the losing <laughs> oh. team. Oh. Whichever team comes out last has to nominate someone to wear this home tonight. Can we have our model out, please? <laughs> there he comes. Oh, Jenna. There he is. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that is glorious. I mean... Have a look, guys. This could be the future. <laughs> I, be, I don't think anyone can actually see us anymore. I quite like it. You might need to come off. I mean, good luck getting on the tube in that. <laughs> now, I think we can all agree this is a pretty serious forfeit, and if you think putting themselves through all that deserves a reward, then you can donate online at cometrelief.com forward slash happy hour. Now, we've got loads of challenges lined up from Red Nose Roulette to so WTF Ooh. Happens Next. Plus, we've got some special videos as Amelia from Chicken Shop Date goes speed dating. And we have some exclusive magic from Julia Steen, nice. plus loads Ooh. more. And there's a chance for you guys at home to get involved in the show as well. Let us know in the comments yeah. if you're watching and what team you're supporting. But right now, let's get into the first round. coming together and helping other people, we thought we would demonstrate this by squishing our teams nice and close together <laughs> in a confined space. Now, each team is about to get up close and personal and we'll need to work together in order to succeed. So, boys, can you give them their T-shirts, please? Yes, yes, we can. Thank you very much. Now, guys, I need someone to be the head. I need a left arm and a right arm, OK? So, for side of themselves, once you rest, I'll tell you what you need to do. OK, so you're going to be the head? OK. One going to go in front and one behind. Yeah, your head's going to go in the middle. Watch the quick. Watch the quick. Expertly done there. Expertly done. OK, Zach, Michael, which arm are you going to go for? I need to take my glasses off. All right, take your glasses off. Your head's going to be inside. OK, Andy. Yeah. Andy, you get. Got annoyingly broad. Yes, beautiful. That's it. Yeah, that's it. There we go. There we go. Are we all ready? Are we all ready? Yeah, okay, looking good. It's a bit of a belly top at the minute. There we go. Right, okay, guys, 20 second challenges, all right? Now, this does have a bit of a theme, so it's the fastest team to finish the challenge that gets the point. If no one finishes the challenges within the 20 seconds, we move on to the next one. Food related, I have prepared a three course meal. Lovely, lovely. It is <laughs> yummy, I've had some myself. <laughs> Up first, of course, for the starter, some bread and butter. So Ooh, now what I need you to do <laughs> is put some you butter... You really pushed the boat yeah, out, Joe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right, so only the best. <laughs> only the best. We need some bread, butter on the bread, and then I need you to take a full bite. Oh, no. <laughs> right, are we ready? <laughs> Three, two, one, go! OK, butter the bread. Go on, go on. You've got the knife. Come on, Doug. You don't need to chop the All right. You've got to break it. You got it. You've 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 got it. you have got it 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 you have
Oh, oh, oh. No, no, you got to say it, like I took a mouthful <laughs> of butter. <laughs> <laughs> you got well, a mouthful of butter. Well, he said you're about to take a mouthful <laughs> of noodles as well, oh, just great. for you. Oh, so That's it's time for the main course. We've got some noodles and some oh, chopsticks. Oh, Use the chopsticks oh, to get the noodles oh, in oh, your oh, mouths. Oh, Are we ready? Oh, on a three, oh, on a two, oh, on a one. Let's go. OK. Each grab a chopstick. Work as a team. Don't use it. Come on. Why is this? No. No. And again, and again, again. And again. I mean, again, again. still going to do. One more, one more, one more, one more. One more. Yeah. 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 Okay. Come on. I can announce we have some cheaters, guys. Yes. Nose did not use their chopsticks. So the point goes to the red team. Yes. 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 All right. Question for you. Who's hungry for more? Yes. Yes. That was a no, but we're going anyway. <laughs> it's time for dessert. So, guys. Have a banana. Now, you don't need to eat the whole lot, but I do need you to peel it and take a big bite. Yeah, okay, wait, okay. Either you hold up. Three, yeah, two, two, one, go! Okay, go. Two. okay. No, no, that's it. Okay, either you hold up. Hold it, 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 Close one, but by a millisecond, I'm going to give that point to the red team. Yeah. 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 Right. Well done, guys. Very competitive. I can tell you that the scores at the end of that round are two one to the red yeah. team. Yeah. 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 Okay, so uh, uh, you are watching uh, Red Nose Day Happy Hour Live. Up next, it's the round that we're calling Get Into Nose You. Get Into Nose You. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is the chance. <laughs> uh, for us to interrogate each of our guests one on one and for them to earn some points for their team. First to play getting to know you will be George Mason. So, George, get ready for your grilling from <laughs> Melvin. <laughs> he looks like he's very, very uncomfortable about this. <laughs> but before that, let's get some highlights from your channel. Hey, I'm George Mason. I'm the biggest catfish of 2019. I'm going to fake Roman holiday for a whole week. What have I done? Oh. They just drove over a car with a bomb. You ruined my hair. That looks so cool, man. Thank you. So what made you start your YouTube channel? Honestly, just out of pure boredom. I was at home and I was seeing all these other people my age, like just having fun at home, film themselves. And I thought, I might as well give it a go too. Now you do a lot of pranks. Have any backfired? Yeah, a lot has backfired. Once I was ignoring my sister for 24 hours. Right. And uh, to, to continue with ignoring her, I locked myself in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she basically started banging on the door and she broke the lock. And uh, long story short, I was, I was stuck in there for a while. Seriously? Yeah. That's insane. Now, are there any challenges that you would never try out? Um, honestly, I, I, I did a prank where I basically faked being on holiday. And uh, I tried to do it again, but it's just no one believes anything I say anymore. So <laughs> I don't think I could do that again. Have you done anything silly to raise money for comic relief? Uh, when I was at school, we did like a charity bake uh, bake sale, mm -hmm. and we make cakes and donuts and stuff like that, and sold them around school. So yeah, that was my uh, experience. Amazing. There. I mean, uh, that's good enough. Thank you. Right now, George, I know that you call yourself the catfish of 2019. Is that yep, right? The biggest catfish. Of the biggest ca catfish of 2019. Let's get it right, people. Yeah, so we're going to play a little game. It's called Cat or Fish. Right. I've got a list of animals. You need to guess whether they're breeds of cat or fish. <laughs> you ready? You got 30 <laughs> seconds. Right. It starts now. Davario, is that a cat or it's fish? A cat. That's a fish. Siamese right. <laughs> <laughs> fighting. Cat or fish? Siamese. Cat. So, it's actually a fish. <laughs> Abyssinian. Cat. It is a cat. How do you know that? You said that with yeah. valor. Uh, dwarf. Fish. That's a cat. A zingle. Fish. That is a fish. A lycoi. Fish. That's a cat. What? Uh, bambino. 
cat. That is a cat. And so Coke. <laughs> oh, I'm going to let you answer it. So Coke, what is Fish. that? That's a cat. I can tell you the score was, I'm being told in my ear, you scored five points. Yeah. Well done, George. You <laughs> definitely know your cat and fish. <laughs> Make some noise for George Mason, everyone, please. Yeah. All right, so we'll get back to the next round of our game shortly. But before that, the reason why we're all here today is to raise money for Comet Relief. Now, this show isn't just about likes. It's all about don't like. So if you don't like poverty, you don't like inequality, you don't like the idea of people living in desperate need, well, the good news is tonight you get to do something about it. Now, in the following video, none other than Ed Sheeran highlights a very important issue which Comet Relief is working to address on the streets of the UK. Homeless people have actually died on our streets over the last year. Sometimes it's good to remember them by name. Mother of two, Anna, died in a night shelter on the 1st of May after sleeping rough in Bath. She was just 28, which is my age. Aaron died in his tent on the 13th of February, weighing just six stone. He was 19 years old. Mary's body was found in a sleeping bag in woods in Kent. Graham was found outside Poundland in Sheffield. Andrew's body was found outside Boots on Blackburn. In the past 12 months, these are just a few of the many, many people who have died on the streets of this country in the 21st century. Please give what you can, thank you, and let's find them a home and not find them dead on the pavement outside. Save lives in the UK. Powerful stuff. And a start reminder there what Red Nose Day is all about. Now, by do donating £10, you could provide support and counselling for a homeless person in the UK. Just £10 could really save a life. Please reach for your phones and donate now. And if, you, if you've been affected by any of the scenes described here, there are phone numbers in the description and links to support services as well. And you guys can donate anytime by using the link in the description or by clicking the tile in the top right hand corner of this video. It's comicrelief.com forward slash happy hour. And if you guys donate £10 or more as a thank you, our lovely YouTubers oh. have agreed <laughs> to do some exclusive content just for you. So there's no yes. excuses. Yes. Yes. Well done. And on the topic of donating, before this live stream, we got talking about the fastest donation it would be possible to make. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one thing led to another, and before we knew it, we had GoPros strapped <laughs> to our heads, and we were engaging in some extremely high-octane donations, right? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> boys and girls, please do try this at home. Hi, I'm Ricky. I'm Melvin. And this is Extreme Donating. Okay, so the challenge is to see how quickly we can donate to Comet Relief. Your time starts now. Okay. Come on, Ricky. You can do this, my friend. Keep pushing it. That's it. Nice and easy. Steady. Steady. Done. Stop. Eight seconds. Yeah. Well done. Woo! Yeah. Well done, boys. I'm proud of you. I am proud of you. Thanks, well guys. done. So there you have it. You can donate to Comic Relief in as little as eight seconds. And I'm pleased to see uh, you guys didn't get hurt in the making of that. No. However, a little insight. Ricky was actually using one of our producer's phones um, and you was pressing a few buttons you shouldn't have. But yeah. actually, I'm glad you did because you donated on his phone. £200, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. £200. It's for charity. I've got trigger happy. It's for charity. I love it. That's right. Donating, even extreme donating, is perfectly safe. So there's no excuse not to get your phone out right now yeah. and head to comicrelief.com forward slash happy hour. And if you're watching on your phone, there's no excuse. There's no excuse. Sorry. <laughs> I'm talking in Swahili. <laughs> there, uh, to click that link, it's that easy. Yeah, 
that's right. It got us thinking, what else can we do in eight seconds? Uh -oh. Now, before we knew it, we had a list of quick fire activities <laughs> which we're going to throw to our YouTuber guests later on in the show. But we need more, so we want yes. them from you guys. Uh, what would you like our, our guests to do uh, to attempt in eight seconds? Let us know. Get your answers in the comments, please, all right? Talking of comments as well, loads of shouts coming in already. Thank you so much. Uh, shout to Dee Dee, Lisa, Ben Freeman. Uh, Ellie has tuned in and said she's here just for George, so we can all just go home. <laughs> <laughs> on. Uh, shout out to Charlie Smith and Bed Adams as well. Please keep those coming in, guys. OK, so it's time to hear from our studio guests. Our two teams of creators are ready and poised to take on the next challenge. For this one, we've enlisted the help of another YouTube channel, Chicken Shop Day. This <laughs> is WTF Happens Next. That's right, in this round... Oh, sorry. I mean, how rude. How rude. <laughs> how rude. <laughs> right. In this round, we're going to play a clip. When it starts, we don't have dodgy Wi-Fi or body sound effects happening <laughs> like that. It's just where you guess what happens next. So this clip, uh, we have a, uh, a wonderful section from a brand new chicken shop date for Comic Relief. It's a special which was released today for all Red Nose Day. So in this first clip, uh, Amelia is speed dating with Curtin from this country. So, team knows you guys are up first. Watch closely. <laughs> I've got a lot of emotional baggage, just to warn you. Um, OK, so what, what's happened to you in the past, like? I uh, went out with this one girl who I thought we were in love, but she dumped me. All right. Ooh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Team knows. This is your question. Why did Curtin, Curtin's girlfriend, dump him? Was it A, to focus on a cycling proficiency test? Fair was enough. it B, it wasn't her, it was him? Or was it C, because she doesn't have a car and Suggs gets to drive his mum's car? What are we thinking, team? Um, B. It's a classic. Yeah, I feel like true. it's B. So, I think, yeah. it wasn't her, it was him? Mm -hmm. you, you guys going for B? Yeah. Mm. Let's find out. Roll the tape. I thought we were in love, but... She dumped me to focus on her cycling proficiency exam. All right, so it was actually A. <laughs> Incorrect there. All right, so on to Team Red. You guys are ready? Yeah. Yes. OK, watch the next clip. I'm a great wing woman, so I can help you out. Oh, really? Fantastic. How come? I always go to them and act like their best friend. Like, I'm like, yo, like, you know, kind of act like them. And then I go, have you met my friend? And you're there smizing in the corner. Yeah, yeah, yes. All right, so Team Red, what happens next? Does A, Samira uh, set up a date with Amelia? Uh, sorry, set up a date with Wes from Love Island? Or B, Ooh. does a voiceover start? Or does C, does an alarm go off? Ooh. At this time, <laughs> Wes would have been dating Megan. So yeah. I think it's that one. Background yeah. knowledge okay. there. Are you sure, <laughs> are you sure they haven't the broken up, though? <laughs> He's been doing a Listen, lot of that. Like a, I'll take the blame for A if it's A. Go. Okay. OK, I'm in. Let's do it. Let's go with A. C. C. No. Oh, what? Alarm goes off. C. A or C? C. 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 Okay. C. C. An alarm goes it's off. Confident. You go for C, an alarm goes off. Sure. It's going to happen. Right, let's find out. So, what's your type? I like boy next door. Samira you know, and Amelia are sat fun, across from each other. Laugh. The spicy wings are going down a treat. Can you hear that? But are things about to mm. hot up on their dates? He follows me everywhere. 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 Yeah. It's kind of, kind of annoying. Really annoying. Oh, <laughs> it was actually B, a voiceover goes off. <laughs> wasn't A or C. It wasn't A, though. <laughs> it was never meant to be, guys. But I can <laughs> tell you, the scores at the end of that round is 2-1 to the red team! Yeah! yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. OK, so it's time to play another round of Getting to Know You. To Know You. <laughs> where we put the spotlight on one of our creators <laughs> as they go out and bat solo for the rest of their team. So right now it's time for Football Daily, Zach and Michael to step up and take their turn. But first, let's check out your highlights.
Michael. First things first, which team do you support and why? Oh, um, I'm a Chelsea fan myself. <coughs> what? Oh, no. Um, and that's because I was a really big fan of John Terry when I was growing up because he was a good defender. And mm. yourself? Yeah. Uh, Man United. Okay. Uh, yeah. When I was about four years old, I believe I watched the Champions League final all the way back in 1999 and just my love grew from that. So, yeah, glory hunter from... <laughs> yeah. All right, let me ask you this question. Which team's the best in the world, West Ham or West Ham? Oh, God. No. Uh, neither. No, no. All right, let's move on. Uh, OK, have you met any players that you've been really starstruck by? I mean, you met Ooh, Del Piero. I met Del Piero. And, yeah, I was, I was, yeah, was starstruck, man. I was definitely starstruck, yeah. I was nervous. OK, and um, have you ever done anything silly to raise money for Comet Relief mm. and Red Nose Day? I think I've dyed my hair red when I was younger, and with, with it being like this, it was quite... A, I bet it was a good look. Like, yeah, I won't do it again, but you never know. <laughs> I think you should. I think you should. Let's calm down, Michael. <laughs> All right, so are you ready to try and win some points for your team? We'll yes. Try our best. OK, we are about to play a game called Football or Farmer. Yeah! Guys, <laughs> that went loud enough. I said Football or Farmer. Yeah! There we go. The back of the game. So I'm going to read out a list of names. All you need to do is tell me if they're footballers or farmers. You've got 30 seconds. That'll be interest. Do you know any farmers? Uh, yeah, mm. sure. Yeah, me yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. John, okay. Michael. Yeah. Good luck with Sorry. this one. Let's start the clock right now. Liam Trotter. Oh, uh, footballer. Yep, we're yes. done. Jacob Anthony. Farmer. Yes, by yes. of the Young Farmer of the Year 2018. Reese <laughs> Wilmot. Um, farmer. <laughs> He's a footballer like oh. Laurian in 1984. Uh, Joshua Thompson. Farmer. Yes, yes, he is. Lee Frecklington. Footballer. Yes, from oh, Lincoln Michael. FC. Gavin Neblin. Footballer. Yes, Crystal nice. Palace. Let's get one more in. Fred Gordon. Farmer. We can go one more. Vincent Hilaire. Footballer. He's a footballer. Yeah. 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 Nice one. Yeah. What a round. We know our farmers. <laughs> OK, so I can tell you, you got seven points oh, there. Yeah. Thank you. Guys, give it up for Zach and Michael. Yeah. Well done, guys. Well done. All right, so let's see what you guys have been saying in the comments. Uh, shout out to Seb Sanford, who's just donated £10. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, shout out to Emperor, well. That's what we like to see. Shout out <laughs> to Empress Kenya. Uh, big up Blue Boss Gaming, Strictly Sloth and Rouge Remixes, who's also tuned in to say hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's time to play the Donation Duration Challenge. <laughs> So, earlier on in the show, Ricky and Melvin proved it is possible to donate to Comet Relief in as little as eight seconds. Well yeah. done, boys. Give them another round of applause. You've got yes. yeah. So, we thought we'd see what else our teams can do in eight seconds. Now, thank you to everyone who has sent in some suggestions. Some of them are amazing. Some of them, we can't air. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we do have some challenges for each of our teams. Now, Team Red, you are up first, all right? So, you're going to have eight seconds. You're going to do these individually. So, Doug, you are going first. You're going to have eight seconds to write and perform a song. Go, my friend. OK. What? Do do comic relief, everyone should donate <laughs> because it's a great cause. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, do you know what? The pressure. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I was struggling there. I was like, do I like, just have, to have to plan you this out? You was looking for a piano that didn't like, exist. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that before. Nailed so, it. There we go. Nailed it. Nailed it. And do you know what? I'm going to break the rules. The fact that you mentioned donate, we're giving them five points. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Come on. Quality. Creativity. Quality is a strong word. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. Now, Zach, you're up next. Okay. Eight seconds. Two. Make yourself burp. Go. Oh, what? Go <laughs> on. That's gross. Come on. Yes! yes! You did it! You did it. Oh. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> Good? That would be on YouTube forever. Exactly. Zach was so polite about it. He was like... Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just He's sorry. only getting one point for that, though. So it weren't sorry, loud Mom. enough. <laughs> it weren't loud enough. All right, Michael, up next. Okay. The word red nose. Those yeah. words backwards is Eason Dare. But what is come together backwards? Go. Uh, uh, Retigot. Re 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 uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Ewok. Oh, he I think he done it. He's yeah. done it. He's done it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, done, Mike. well done. All right, so team knows. Can you beat that? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, you're very. Lewis is so Lewis confident. Is very confident. Yeah. I didn't come here to play. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, uh -oh. Uh, show them, Lou. Show them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Eva, you're up first. Okay. Okay, so can you, in eight seconds, invent and define a new word? Go. Um. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, no, my I'm just ticking it. Um, Say anything. It's <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean? 
<laughs> it means if you don't donate, then you just should, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll take yeah. that, we'll take that. <laughs> All right, so George, you're up next. Yeah. Can you, in eight seconds, make yourself yawn? It helps if someone else is yawning. We'll try and yawn. Oh. That's not. That's not. That was yours. That was yours. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry. He's, He's on just got team. so much energy. He can't <laughs> yours. <laughs> okay. okay. So the scores. Wait, wait. We got Lewis. Oh, we got oh, yeah, Lewis. Because he has Lewis. a oh, yeah, play. And he's here to play. Sorry, sorry, All right. I put a lot of pressure on myself now. So Lewis, in eight seconds, can you recite the story of Cinderella? Go. Okay. So there was this chick, and then she went. Um, she was like evil sisters, and then they were like, rah, 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 and then she was like, oh, I'm going to support anyway, and then she loses her shoe, and then the Prince Charm comes, and then the sisters in one, and then she shoe, and she found a prince. Oh, OK, 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 OK. I respect that, I respect that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Is it time for the scores now? I think so, Charles. OK, OK, the scores at the end of that round are... red. Nine to seven! Nine points! Yeah. Nine points. Yeah. Nine points. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so guys, it only takes eight seconds to donate to Comic Relief and make the world a better place. All right, go to comicrelief.com forward slash happy hour to do your bit. Now, up soon, we are going to be playing WTF with Julius Dean. But first, it is time for another Getting to Know You. Getting to Know You, know my you. favorite. And this time it is with the lovely Evie Clark. But before we get into that, let's take a look at a YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video which literally I've been meaning to do this for so long since I did my last 15 heatless hairstyles. You guys literally loved it so much. It's my most viewed video on my channel and I don't know why I haven't done another one. Yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. They are actually dropping three new shows. Feb half time. I don't know why I said Feb. <laughs> February. I can't say February. 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 It's going to ask, is it February? No. This is bad because my birthday is in February. Today is green. Seriously, I don't even know what's going on in this video anymore. This is seriously questionable. I'm literally not looking forward to college at all. I mean, I'm never looking forward to college, but today I'm not. I don't want to be there. I do not want to be wearing this to college. Oh my God, I look so weird. Make some noise for Evie, everybody! Yay! So this is, of course, getting to know you. So could you describe your YouTube channel in three words for us, please? I would say... Neon. Yeah. I don't know why I said that. It's just close to that clip. It's in my head. <laughs> um, fun and weird. And what's your favourite type of video to make? I love doing challenge videos. Challenge, why? Yeah. The word? Why, why? Oh, why? Yeah. I don't know. It's just fun, you know? <laughs> Get to see other people's reactions, it's good. Okay. And uh, what's the most embarrassing thing that you've done in the name of your channel? Oh my gosh, the other week on the beach, I fully went out on the beach and did a my morning routine. Oh, really? On the beach, yeah. <laughs> I woke up with a duvet on the beach. <laughs> it was actually nice. great. Like that. You've interviewed quite a lot of film stars. Who's been the most, uh, who have you been most starstruck with? Um, I think Zendaya or Benedict Cumberbatch. I'm going to say, I'm just going to list all of them, but <laughs> I think all of them, yeah. All of them. Zendaya's yeah. a good one, though. That's yeah, a pretty good great. one. That's a good one. OK, so we're going to play a, your solo game now. You up for that? Yeah, I'm ready. OK, so as we've seen in your videos, there's often a strong colour theme going on, whether yeah. you're only eating one colour type of food or dressing in certain colours for the week. So for your challenge, you're going to play colour or cocktail. All right? Ooh. All right, OK. Just turned 18. It's a good, good time. Uh, there we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> OK, so you've got 30 seconds. You ready? Yeah. Right, let's go. OK, so the first one is jungle bird. Colour or cocktail? Cocktail. That is a cocktail with Campari, lime and pineapple. Well done. Uh, Velvet Dream. Colour. Colour, that is a colour. It's red. Iced Vovo. Cocktail. No, that is a colour that's pink. Rock oh. Lobster. A colour. That's a cocktail with rum and banana. Ooh. Paloma. Colour. No, cocktail. That's a cocktail with tequila and grapefruit. Uh, perennial Flux. Cocktail. That's a colour. Ah, oh, that's a colour. Oh. That was pink. Give it up for Evie, everybody. All right, let's find out what your score was on that one. How much did you get, Evie? I haven't been 18 for that long, <laughs> you know. You scored 
Four points! Yay! Four points! Yay! Well done, well done, Evie. Congratulations, great work. OK, so we'll get back to the next round of the game shortly. But before that, the reason that we're here today is to raise money for Comet Relief. Now, Comet Relief uses the money raised through Red Nose Day to help people living extremely tough lives here in the UK and around the world. Now, Comet Relief is trying to help young refugees who have no idea what their future holds. Some of them have been filmed, uh, they film themselves and their phones for us whilst trying to connect with their friends. Hello, Salam. 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 Your donations are so important. With your help, we can improve the lives of so many young refugees. In Serbia, just £2 could buy a warm blanket for a child living in a refugee camp. £10 could ensure a child living in a refugee camp in Serbia has school books and stationery, and £50 could provide legal services to reunite refugee families. Now, by donating cash this Red Nose Day, you really are helping to change lives. You can donate at any time at the link in the, in the description or by clicking on the button in the top right corner of this video, which is comicrelief.com forward slash happy hour. And if you donate £10 or more, as a thank you, the teams uh, on the show today have agreed to create some exclusive content just for you, which will arrive in your inboxes at some <laughs> point over the next year. So uh, this is for a limited time only, right, guys? So get clicking right now, all right? Yes, let's get to some of your <clears throat> shouts. We need as many of these in as possible as well, guys, all right? So get your shouts in so we can get you guys out there. Shout to Clara Neal, sends big love to Evie and Lewis, and a massive shout to Luna Chan, Mark and Isabella. Please keep nice. those coming in. All right, so it's time to play another round of WTF happens next. We've already heard from Chicken Shop Date right now. The subject is Julius Dean. This is WTF happens next. OK, so Julius couldn't be with us today. Uh, he's abroad, but he was really keen to get involved uh, to support Comet Relief. Now, if you don't know him, he's a magician who travels the world posting awesome videos on YouTube of his various magical antics. Now, for this section, he's recorded some tricks whilst travelling in South Africa. Uh, all of our studio guests, all they've got to do is watch, watch and guess what's going to happen next. Now, Team Red, you guys are up first. Mm -hmm. So uh, look closely, because I'll be asking you some questions very shortly, all right? Here we go. Hey guys, Julius Dean here. Happy Red Nose Day and sorry I couldn't make it in the studio. I'm here in South Africa filming some magic. Watch carefully at the tricks as we're going to be asking you some questions later. Okay. One rabbit is going to go into my hand. And this. One rabbit is going to go into your hand. Squeeze. Right. Now watch my rabbit. Ha! Ah, ah, oh, 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 ah! oh, 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 Take the rabbit, right? Squeeze, squeeze the rabbit. Squeeze it, right? I want you to say multiply. Multiply. I want everyone to say multiply. Multiply. Everyone say multiply. Multiply. Oh, open it. Oh! Multiply. I'm going to take my hand like this. Say chocolate. OK, so Team Red, WTF. What does he do next? What does he pull out next? Is it A, an Easter egg? Is it B, a Mars bar? Or is it C, a sausage? Ooh. Ooh. It's got to be chocolate, right? Oh, yeah, which surely. one? 
Was he was saying chocolate on it? Yeah. Or no, well then maybe they're gonna throw us and it's a sausage. It's an <laughs> Easter egg or a Mars bar. I don't know, Easter is coming chocolate. up, isn't it? It is. I, I don't know, it's topical. Mars bars. Go with your gut. Go with your gut. I think Easter egg. Yeah. Let's do that. Easter, Easter egg. egg. So you're saying yeah. chocolate? Yeah. Okay, let's find out. It was chocolate. I'm going to give it to you. It's chocolate. Right, well done, guys. Well done, well done. Okay, up next is Team Nose. Uh, uh, are you guys ready for your clip? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, ready. I'm going to be asking you questions very shortly. Roll VT. Watch the coin. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take it like this. Okay. I'm going to take it. Hold on. You're gonna hold your hand out like this. Yeah. I've got here a butterfly. What is it? A butterfly. Loud, shout it. What is that? A butterfly. Look at the butterfly. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> so team knows what happens next. WTF. Where does the butterfly appear next? Is it A on his hand? Is it B on his forehead? Or is it C on the back of his head? A real butterfly. I think that's a clue, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think back of his head because when he did the thing... You the can't debunk it. The hands were still open. So as, unless it's going to like, I think back of the head because he's going to be like, wait, wait, wait. Oh, then it's going to go like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. OK. We'll I go back of the head. Back of the head, back you're saying? Head OK, is. let's find out. Hey, hey, hold uh, on, bro. Uh, you uh, showing uh, your hand, uh, bro. Uh, Turn your hand uh, over. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, guys! Oh. Unlucky, unlucky. Good effort, good yeah. effort. But, you know, it was, it was the back of his hand in the end. OK. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so the score at the end of that round is... 10 to the red team! Yay! You guys won seven. Red team is still in front. Uh, have you guys like started to think about maybe who might be wearing the big red nose for the rest of the day? Uh, Lewis. Yeah, Lewis. Um, <laughs> uh, that's so kind of you to offer. I actually um, um, need to run. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, the plot thickens. And remember, you can donate to Comet Relief at any time by coming to cometrelief.com forward slash happy hour. All right, so in our next challenge, we're going to be testing out our creators in a game that we like to call the Quick Fire Creator Challenge. So the YouTubers with us tonight have created some of the most compelling content on YouTube soil. But now we are putting that to the test. How good are they really? Now you may have <laughs> seen the new dance craze sweeping the nation. Yep, flossing is so 2018 Melbourne. Need to sort that one out. This year it is all about. <laughs> yep, don't do that. It's all about the triangle dance. So we decided to set our team to challenge of creating a brand new dance in just three minutes. They also have to include a prop chosen from this bowl and a red nose, and they have to film it for us as well. All right, so no pressure. <laughs> OK, no pressure indeed, Charles. Oh, did we lose something? No, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. OK, so while the teams are working on the videos, uh, we've got a treat for you. Uh, you'll find this especially helpful if you're, a, if you're keen to raise money for Comet Relief, but just don't have the interpersonal skills, Melvin. All right, starring Tom Rosenthal, this is How to Fundraise Being Socially Awkward. like me and have a strong dislike of socialising with your work colleagues, no offence. None taken. You'll probably hate Red Nose Day, but all's not lost. I'm going to show you how you can do your bit without having to bond with the office riffraff. OK, now I'm offended. The sponsored silence is the perfect opportunity to avoid mindless chit-chat at work. Feels like a Wednesday, it's only Monday. Oh, uh, OK. Yeah. Hello, mate. Yeah, yeah, just at work, yeah. Can I borrow a stapler? To avoid asking for donations, simply position your collection bucket in the vicinity of your colleague's face and hold it there until the inevitable guilt sets in. Can I borrow a stapler there? Don't have one. Avoid having to socialise on your lunch break by doing a sponsored walk or jog. Ah, oh, sorry, Judith. I can't go for lunch today. I have to go for my sponsored jog. These idiots will believe literally anything. <laughs> Hello, Judith. 
On any given Red Nose Day, it's a mathematical certainty that sponge will be in abundance, known by its street name as cake. Oh, hang on. Get out of conversation to the bake sale by inserting as much of it in your mouth as is humanly possible. Have you ever tried to bake one? Do it during meetings, and you won't have to contribute to that pesky brainstorm either. Spibble some ideas about that, Tommy. Oh, oh. Every Red Nose Day, the office rabble will almost certainly insist on adorning themselves in some kind of hilarious costumery. The best way to avoid speaking to people on Fancy Dress Day is to wear something that gives off a subtle, don't talk to me vibe. Unbelievable. I've had a number of complaints today, Tom. Have you got any idea why people may have been offended? Because frankly, I'm struggling to come up with a reason why I shouldn't let you go. Well, it's not just the costume. I'm sorry about this, but I can think what I thought of them. I'm sorry. I'm so, that's how I raised the princely sum of £1.25 with relative ease. For more handy hints, visit comicrelief.com slash rednosedave. Wow. Some valuable lessons there, Ricky. I hope you took note, bruv. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> now you're watching Red Nose Day Happy Hour live on YouTube. And during that video, our teams have been working on their quick fire creator challenge. So, guys, are you pleased with your creation? 100%. Are you yes. sure about that? Yeah. All right, well, it's time to share with the class. The lovely Charlie Hedges here is going to be judging. Okay. So, Good luck. red team, you're we up are first. Feeling pretty Please confident. hold up your phone <laughs> to the camera. Let's see All what right, you've let's got. Go. Let's do this. Let's this is hold a classic. It hold it up a little bit. Oh, that is fantastic. It's so good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's, it's so good. Yeah. Oh, it's actually like, it, you know what this is? This is insane. <laughs> but that's what they could have been. Oh, she's got a message. Oh, got it? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. And a nice private message in the middle yeah. of that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope that wasn't your missus. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so nose team, can you beat that? Um, um, no, if I'm being I, honest, well, can don't... I just... You all look great tonight. <laughs> <laughs> great. Compliments will get you everywhere. OK, so, nose team, please hold up your phone to the camera over there. When you guys are ready, go for it. <laughs> oh, check him out. <laughs> <laughs> nice move there. Thank you. Wait, wait. Okay, okay, give it up for those two. All right, so very good efforts there. Charlie, as the independent adjudicator, mm -hmm. who are you going to award the win to? I mean, the dance moves are on point, mm. but I do feel like purely because you complimented us, oh. I'm going to cheat. Give it to the nose team. <laughs> 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 Because I can. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I can tell you guys the scores at the end of that round are 10 points to the red team! <laughs> OK, so, guys, it's looking like maybe you guys are wearing the tights at the moment. <laughs> How do you the feel about that? Any ideas as to who might be wearing that outfit later on? Uh, <clears throat> Evie. I thought you volunteered earlier. Wait. Yeah, you definitely did. You <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Definitely. Yeah. OK, well, listen, up next, we'll be playing Red Nose Roulette. But first, it's time for another Getting to Nose You uh, with Doug Armstrong. Step up, my friend. Uh, first, let's take a look at your channel while you get comfortable. Hey, guys, my name is Doug Armstrong. Every time that I mention that I'm gay on my channel, I lose a load of subscribers. So I thought it was about time that I cleared out any ignorant homophobic people that are left leaving just the cool people. And what is a better way of doing that than writing a song called It's OK To Be Gay? So here we go. If you're confused about yourself and your sexuality, be patient, look inside yourself and set your mind free. It doesn't really matter whatever you say. Because everybody probably already knows that you're gay. 
when you like a guy but he doesn't like you back he's probably more into boobs than your sh and six pack 99 percent of the world thinks the other way but i promise that it's okay to be gay yes i promise that it's okay to be gay i mean loving that song Doug. <laughs> thank you so tell us why did you start your youtube channel uh, why did I start my YouTube channel? I was just always really interested in making videos. Um, I just liked sort of being on camera and then like also behind the camera. So like back when we were like, I don't know, when I was like really young, uh, going on family holidays, I would always make videos of that and just like film myself. So it was just like I was born out of the joy for making videos really. Love and, that, uh, man. Yeah. And what's your favourite kind of video to make? Um, more recently, it's been the music stuff, uh, like that song we saw there. I mean, that was like one of my first like forays into the, the LGBT music comedy stuff. Right. Um, so yeah, and over the past few years, I've been um, like writing more stuff like that, and uh, I just really enjoy it. Sort of being able to sit at a piano and just like come up with stuff. And um, so, where do you come up with this stuff? Like on the toilet? Where are you? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know. I've, I mean, I've got notes thing in my phone, so sometimes I just have an idea. Sometimes I'm just like sitting at a piano. So that's where all the around. gold is in your phone. Uh, some of it, yeah. So if someone yes. gets hold of that phone, they can make some it's, big tunes very soon. This is true, potentially. <laughs> someone yeah. get me Doug's phone for later on, please. <laughs> okay, nice one, Charles. Good work. You ready to play your solo games? Earn I'm some so points I'm for your team. Nervous. Yeah, I don't are you nervous, Doug? Yeah. You don't look it, man. You're very chilled out, very cool. I need to win the points for my team though, don't I? Think I, you, so. I think you can do it though. As you're the music guy, we've got a music related game for you. Okay. So it's called Translation Fail Comet Relief Special. I mean, it just rolls off the tongue. Love it. <laughs> yeah, you came up with that. All right. Genius. So what we've done is we have translated a load of Comet Relief singles through Google Translate into Korean, then French, then Urdu, then, uh, then Urdu, then back to English, all right? Oh so you God. have to basically guess the original single, all right? Okay. So the first single is are you going to ML? Your 30 seconds starts now. What's the original title? What is that again? Are you going to ML? This has been translated several times, so we need the or <laughs> oh, original. I don't, I don't even know the like, names of the original ones. I can't <laughs> think of them when you're on the spot. It's by Tony Christie. That's a little clue there. And Peter Kay. Ah, Murillo. Correct. Is this way down? Uh, yes. <laughs> next one, I do not have enough. Uh, give us a clue. Uh, it's by the Saturdays. Oh, what's it called? Oh, oh no. it's, I just can't get enough. Oh. I mean, to be that fair, awful. Sorry. that's a really hard game. Yeah, <laughs> what, what happened to the multiple choice thing that everyone else got? I'm really so sorry, unfair. Doug. We, we came up with a really hard game Dear for you. Me. Uh, Sympathy but, points, But maybe. your score was one point. Give it up for uh, Doug. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Protein. you're watching Red Nose Day Happy Hour Live. We've taken over YouTube to raise loads of money for Comet Relief, helping people with tough lives in the UK and around the world. Now, the money that you help really does make a difference. Uh, you're about to see that in this video, which is about mental health. Now, Shirley Ballas, who is a judge on Strictly, was one of the nine people who gave up her time to climb Mount Kilimanjaro with Danny Dyer and Little Mix of Comet Relief. Now, the next film is very, very close to her heart. My brother took his own life. No note, no letter, no goodbye. You know, he was a young man, 44. It's sometimes difficult for me to talk about it because I don't feel like I was a good father at the time. He was the best man at my wedding. I'm the godfather to his son. He had gone from living in a nice little two bedroom flat to just living in a bed set, working in a job he didn't like. He started drinking more. I think internally he was very lonely. He was just spiralling further and further into depression. In January 2017, he decided to walk down to the beach. I think he just wanted to feel numb. He had his phone with him listening to music and um, a podcast came on of Professor Green who uh, lost his father to suicide. The documentary came on. It made me think of my son and him not having me in his life. And so I sat down on the beach and I cried and the number appeared for calm. So I rung them and they saved my life. I need a minute, I need a minute. Okay. It was that taboo that I, I really don't feel very good. I'm feeling bad about myself. And when someone else says, okay, it's fine to feel like that, you kind of go, wow. What was I so worried about? I can only imagine 16 years ago if my brother would have had 
somewhere to go, somebody to talk to, somebody to share his feelings. I truly believe in my heart today he would still be here. It's amazing what a tenor can do, right? Just 10 of your pounds could fund a potentially life-saving call to calm. It really can save lives, so please donate now. If you've been affected by any of the scenes described in that video, there are phone numbers in the description and links to the support services. Despite the amazing progress the world continues to make, there are still huge issues. Now, people shouldn't live on the streets. Girls and women shouldn't have to face poverty and abuse simply because of their gender. Children should receive proper care and support that they need to have a great start to life. And people with mental health problems shouldn't face fear and discrimination. But this is the reality of millions. Yeah, the money you raise this Red Nose Day will be used to help deliver brilliant solutions to terrible problems around the world, supporting vulnerable people and communities both in the UK and internationally. Now, donate now, guys, uh, using the link in the description or by clicking on the tile in the top right corner of this video at comicrelief.com forward slash happy hour. And for everyone who donates at least £10 as a thank you, the creators on the show today have agreed to create some exclusive content that we can share with you. Love. All right, let's check out the comments. Uh, thanks to Chris Owen, who said he has donated uh, from Liverpool. Big up. Wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, Aurora says uh, they did a flash mob last year for Comic Relief. Listen. What about this year, though? Uh, <laughs> shout out to Anika, who's tuned in from Sweden, and big up Noah, who says, Happy Red Nose Day 2019. Yeah. Great work. OK, so up soon we'll be playing Red Nose Roulette, but first, it's time for our final getting to know you. Now, we've heard from everyone except Lewis Ball, so it's your turn to take the hot seat, Lewis. Uh, but first, let's see something from your channel while you get comfortable. Is this on autofocus or ma it's on it's on manual, isn't it? Oh, for God's sake! I can never do anything right. I hate my God. She's a little overexposed, isn't she? Let's just turn that down a quick touch. Right, we'll be back in a quick second. Due to technical difficulties, we cannot see these unforeseen circumstances. Thank you for understanding. Hello, hi, welcome to my piano recital. <laughs> What? Today we are bringing back an old format. You know, we've put her on life support. We have kept her in our prayers and thoughts and she's back, baby. It's Lewis React. Today I went to Boots and I picked out a full face of makeup with a blindfold on. It was interesting. It wasn't the best experience, but again, I've had worse experience in my life. Wait, yeah. <laughs> I feel really self-conscious, guys. Welcome <laughs> <laughs> back to my challenge channel. I've got my blindfolds and I feel really self-conscious and um, awkward. Yes. Give it up for Lewis, everyone. Can I just Stop. say, you have the best eyelashes Thank you. in the universe. The I'm very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so am I, don't worry about it. So first things first, the question everyone wants to know the answer to is who is looking for Lewis? Me? No, it's okay. <laughs> um, Looking for Lewis is me. It's all me. Everything is me. Um, I don't really know. Like, as in, like, it, well, it came from. Um, I, my favorite book was Looking for Alaska as a Child, and that's where I got the username inspiration from. That's where Looking for Lewis came, and now it kind of spiraled out of control. And now, unfortunately, I put people through listening to me on YouTube. <laughs> well, I think you're amazing. Uh, now, in terms of how your channel has changed, um, what do you think has changed over the years since you've been doing it? Um, a lot. <laughs> uh, it started, I used to do music videos. Like, yeah. I, when I was like 12 years old, you know, <laughs> I was still puppy fat phases. I like mime to songs and like put effects on it. Um, thank you for saving me from that stage. <laughs> uh, and then I was like obsessed with makeup badly. And then I got good at it. And by the time I got good at it, I was a bit like, okay, I'm kind of bored this now. <laughs> I have a bad attention span. And now mm. it's just sort of a hot mess. Like, it's just like, I'm, I, when people ask me what it is, I don't know quite what to tell them. Well, we think Lewis is fabulous, don't we, everybody? Thanks, we Thanks. do. Thanks. Now, are you no, keep ready? Going. <laughs> keep going, guys. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> are you ready to try and get some points for your team? Mm -hmm. Now, you're uh, a student, so we thought we would test you on some maths. Now, uh, how is your long division? Huh? Uh, pie charts? Do you know what? Let's just crack on. Okay. <laughs> okay. The 30 seconds starts now. Five times five. Ah! 25! Yes. 10 times seven. Ah! 70! Yes. 12 <laughs> times four. Ah! Uh, 48! Yes. 178 times one. 
Uh, yes, six times zero. Uh, zero. Thirteen times three. Uh, Thirty-nine. Uh, Thirty-nine. Yep. I mean, look at that. Yes. Yes. Move over, Einstein. I'm here. I don't know how you got that last one, but I can tell you, you got nine points. Thank you. <laughs> Give it up for Lewis, everybody. Now, you are watching Red Nose Day Happy Hour Live, and we are here tonight for one reason, and that is to raise money for Comic Relief this Red Nose Day. Now, whatever you donate, we make sure that the cash you raise helps people live in extremely tough lives here at home in the UK and around the world. Now it's time to hear from Danny Dyer, who's been to Sierra Leone, to find out more about a very serious issue affecting many young girls. Hand on heart, there is no better way to spend a tenner. So, if you don't mind me asking, have you undergone FGM? Yes, I have at a very tender age, around 10. I don't agree with it, it should be abolished totally. We start up a girls' school club. It's like a safe space where girls can be able to come and discuss ways that they will be able to handle those issues. With these girls, she's making them feel empowered, like they can say no. I told my grandmother, I told my stepmother, no, I am not going to FGM. What? And I can't believe it that £10 that is all that lesson costs. So if you have £10, £20 or even £30, please donate to these young, amazing girls and change their lives. Well done, Danny. Now, it's shocking that in Sierra Leone, two thirds of girls have undergone FGM. Now, you can help amazing campaigners like Geneva change girls' lives forever. Your £10 could pay for these valuable lessons that can empower young women to stand up to FGM. So the money you raise this Red Nose Day will be used to help deliver brilliant solutions to terrible problems, supporting vulnerable people and communities both in the UK and around the world. Guys, if you can, please donate now at cometrelief.com forward slash happy hour. And if you do donate, £10 pounds or more as a thank you. The YouTubers on the show today have agreed to create some exclusive content just for you. Now, this is for a limited time only, so get clicking now, all right? All right, so guys, the happy hour is nearly Whoa. up. Yeah. But we, we have two hours. But we've got one more <laughs> round to go. Yeah. And it's all to play for. Yeah. And it's worth double points. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Brilliant. charity. Wow. Well, well. <laughs> so charity is all about compassion and love for your fellow human being. Apart from this part, now this is Red Nose Roulette. We have a selection of red noses here, but two of them, uh, like real noses, contain a load of horrible stuff that you don't want to get in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Now each team is going to put on the noses while keeping a poker face, and the other team has to guess who got a surprise. Up first. Team Red, you guys are going first. Okay. <laughs> Happy luck. about that? Sure. So if you put, yeah, if you put the noses on, yeah. each take a nose, okay. put it on, give it a good old squish, Rich, don't be make shy. Make sure they put them right up. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah. come on, Zach. Squash. Come on, Zach. That's there it. you go. Mike, excellent work. I mean, they're work. poker faces. Okay, keep your poker faces as well. Yeah. Don't let us know. Oh, good. Okay, so Team Nose, you guys have got to guess which of these guys has got a special surprise underneath their nose. Oh, so special. only no, one. Just one. Just only one. one of them has it. Red. Well, see, I don't know if you're trying to throw us off, but I saw your face when you put it on. I think it's red. So you think it's Zach? Yeah. I think yeah. it's... Uh, Sorry, I didn't mean to call you red. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's in the spirit really. of the team name there. <laughs> So we need like a, a conclusive, I think a I unanimous. Agree. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think I'm yeah. gonna go with okay. Zach. Zach. Yeah. Okay, Zach, remove your nose and let's find out if you got the surprise under there. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> I was Red so acting. certain. <laughs> okay, so it's not Zach. Okay, so Michael and Doug, are you gonna? Are you guys gonna? Reveal? Come Michael. on, guys. You're gonna go for Michael. Okay, so Michael, okay. could you please reveal underneath your nose? Oh! 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 The problem was, uh, it was fine, but it kept on slipping off. <laughs> yeah. You kept adjusting it. <laughs> you kept moving it up, so I was like, it mustn't be you, because why would you keep moving something up which has something in? 
the face, Michael. Great face. <laughs> 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 all right, so uh, team nose, you're up next. Ooh, uh, so uh, please nose place your noses yeah. on your face. Now, your okay. noses are filled with something else. Remember, oh, keep that poker face on. Uh, team red, it's your turn to guess. All right, so team nose. Come on, place your noses on your nose. Evie, I swear to God, if you give this away. <laughs> <laughs> poker faces, guys. Put them on tightly, please. OK, so team red. Do you think it's Lewis, Evie, or George with the sticky stuff inside their nose? <laughs> These are very good. I'm they are good. Yeah. I can't yeah. tell. They're yeah. not moving. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> Evie's not Ooh. moving too much. OK. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we saying, guys? <laughs> Lewis? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she could be bluffing. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to rule her out. No, I think. Maybe she's double bluffing her double bluff. Lewis is also <laughs> rearranging his in a similar way to what yeah. I was. He knows. Well. But yeah, but he did that on per. Maybe, mm. maybe. Lewis's eyes. Could, could be a double bluff, though, guys. He need an answer, guys. Come on. Uh, so Lewis, Evie, or George? What are we saying? I'm, no, maybe George. George has been smiling a lot. Go with George. Red team, is that your final answer? You go with George? No. I'm going. I want to go with Evie, actually. Evie. Evie. Yeah, so we're going with that. Evie. Okay, oh, red team. We're saying Evie. Evie, please remove your nose. It's not me. Oh! <laughs> okay. So are we saying it's Lewis or George? Guess One again. of you two say. George. George. Yeah, George. It's not me. Oh! I think it's peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. I hope you don't have that allergy. That actually made me feel a little bit funny. That's disgusting. Can we have a tissue over here? Sorry about that, Lou. Listen, well done. We are actually at the end of the show, guys. But before we go, of course, should we find out which team has won? And more importantly, who's lost and who's going to be going out into central London dressed as the red nose? Yes. Okay, so drum rolls, please. Please. I can tell you that the winning team by an absolute mile is Team Nose! Yeah. Yeah. Team knows you win the right not to be humiliated for the rest of the show. Yeah, yes. we do. How does that feel? Um, yes. I'd like to thank my mum. <laughs> <laughs> You've got that peanut butter in your yeah. nose. Yeah. <laughs> that. that means Team Red, one of you guys, Eyes. has to go out there in that red nose costume and go all the way home. Who's it going to be? <laughs> Who's it going to be? Who are you nominating I'm, Team Red? I'm too I'm... tall for it, I think. So, uh, so no, no Doug. Yeah. You've already had Marmite. Okay. Had Marmite, yeah. I'm so, wearing red. Come so in, red. Saying, Zach, you can see it perfectly. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You're blend right already in. wearing red, Zach. I think he's going for it, <laughs> yeah, Zach. Sure. Yeah. Oh, give it up for Zach, everyone. Zach, yeah. Yeah. You don't have to put it on now, but have a, have a little chat if you want. It's nice to get acquainted. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Now you've met each other. Take one for the team. <laughs> okay, bye, Red. Goodbye. Bye, Nose. Bye, Mr. Nose. Bye, Mr. Nose. <laughs> All right. Off he goes. Off he goes. That is. Bye, bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> He's doing the walk of shame already. Yes, <laughs> Loving that. We're going to capture that, those moments as well on Comet Relief Social, so check that out later on, OK? Yeah. And more importantly, please, please consider donating to help fund the crucial work that Comet Relief supports. If you've not already, now is the time to pull out your phones or your laptop and make a difference. The link is in the description of this video and is still live for now, all right, guys? Go to cometrelief.com forward slash happy hour. And remember that even a small donation could go such a long way towards making a real difference to someone living an incredibly difficult life. OK, so you've just seen how £10 can fund a potentially life-saving call from Calm for people who are desperate, or that the same £10 can ensure a child living in a refugee camp in Serbia has school books and stationery. Yep, so please dig deep and help fund the projects that give vulnerable and disadvantaged people in the UK and around the world a helping hand to turn their lives around. And remember, as a thank you, if you donate £10 or more, mm. you'll receive some exclusive content from these guys in yes. the next 12 months. Mm. So there's no excuses, all right? <laughs> and this is your last chance to get involved. The reward will end on the 18th of March. That's a Monday. So get involved right now. Cometrelief.com forward slash happy hour. And also, do you guys <laughs> fancy a... Donating. I know you've got your yeah. phones on you. Yeah. You're yeah. all crazy. Nice. Why not? Come on, give it up yeah. for our guests today. Donate it right now. If they can do it, you can too. <laughs> all right, so all that remains is to say thank you to our guests for joining us. So a massive thank you to Zach and Michael for yeah. joining us. Mr. Peanut Butter, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> and of course, a massive thank you to every one of you that's tuned in and a huge thank you to everyone who has donated. And if you haven't, there's still time. That's right. If you're watching in the UK, then the Red Nose Day Marathon is kicking off right now yes. on BBC One. So head over to the iPlayer or just switch on your TV. <laughs> so we've been Ricky, Melbourne and Charlie. Thanks for having us. Happy Red Nose yes. Day and goodbye from everyone at Red Nose Day. Happy Hour Live! Bye. Bye. Bye.